Now with the storm swirling around the most popular show on Netflix, it's called Unlocked, a jail experiment, and it takes cameras inside an Arkansas detention facility where the inmates are given unprecedented freedom, sparking controversy. Steve Osinsami has more on that story. Steve, good morning. Good morning to you. With the producers got permission from the sheriff who runs the jail to bring in their cameras, but there are other county officials who work with the sheriff who feel that this was a bad decision. Come on, it's a pod full of felons. It's already hit number one on the streaming giant Netflix, a series called Unlocked, a jail experiment, where in the words of Netflix, the viewers will get to see what happens. when unit cells are unlocked at the Pulaski Regional Detention Facility in Little Rock, Arkansas. No locks and no officers. And let y'all be a community. <laughs> <laughs> Detainees will have six weeks to prove that they can act more like people and not criminals. The series features this man, the Pulaski County Sheriff, who agreed to the experiment and allowed producers to record it all. He says, according to his lawyers, he had every right to say yes because he controls the jail. Constitutionally, I have that control. I control who comes in the jail, who, who leaves the jail. I allow people to come in. I have allowed other uh, organizations to come in and film. I don't control uh, their film once they walk out. I may control the area that they come into. Sheriff Eric Higgins is now being questioned by other local officials about whether allowing all of this is good for their community. It could end helping somebody to be free and stay free. But the sheriff says despite the trailers for the show, it's not really true that there were no officers present, saying that they were assigned to entrances and were watching inmates on surveillance cameras around the clock. We're moving forward in what we're doing in this facility. Uh, we are trying to create a safer facility. We are trying to give these individuals an opportunity to have a say in the safety of the facility. A county judge and other leaders say they're taking frantic calls, asking if prisoners are running free. What the heck? Where, where did this come from? It's created quite a stir. Um, I'm hearing from folks all over the county. Wow. Y'all in the ride for y'all life now. The county government is now looking into the sheriff's deal with producers, demanding answers about how he approved the series and whether anyone was compensated. In his response, the sheriff explains that a $60,000 check from the production company went straight to the county and that he didn't keep it. That's what you're looking at right now is that did he do all, check all the boxes? Did he make all the phone calls? Does he have names to say, yeah, they approved this, and this is why we're doing this, to show people and show prisoners in a different light? A lot of things send people to jail. The outside world knows nothing about the correctional system in this country and what it's like living every day behind the walls. Maybe someone will learn something from it. The local NAACP and some church leaders are supporting the sheriff. They like what he's doing, saying that by allowing these prisoners to somewhat govern themselves, he's helping them become better people when they get out. But there are other voices who ask, what happens if there's a fight? How long will it take the guards to get to where they need? Guys? A lot of questions, yeah. a lot of opinions. Uh, thank you so much for that, Steve.